Recently, I played through Doom 2016 with the help of some friends to celebrate hitting 10,000 subscribers. Except by the time I finish the script, it's already tripled that size. Thank you all so much for the support, it's insane. As a result, some of this script is written by YouTube comments. If it's bad, blame Sid. The following is a completely accurate summary of the campaign. Trust me, if you enjoy the video, don't forget to like and subscribe. The game begins on a base on Mars, with the Doom guy running around collecting health and armor in preparation for a fight. We come across a door and hump it for a few seconds as we figure out the button to open it, and shoot some protesters who disapprove of our love of doors. We continue to fight our way through the facility and activate a switch, which... What? This isn't the right Doom. But it's called Doom, that was the game I was supposed to be playing, right? There's another game that's also called Doom? Why did they call it the same thing? It's a reboot, but it's also a sequel? Well, that's just confusing. The game really begins with a difficulty selection screen, and because I'm a big wuss and actually want to get through this game in a reasonable time, I choose Hurt Me Plenty. But trust me, there's still plenty of hurting. We're told the enemy team doesn't have a mercy, so we won't have to worry about them getting buffed or healed, so we break our way out of a Quentin Tarantino set and murder the film crew because we don't share his love of feet. We press a button and Cortana shows up to reveal that she was the reason that we were tied up on the bed from the beginning of Portal 2, which means we just killed Quentin Tarantino for no reason. Oops. We grab Master Chief's boob plating and have a Vietnam flashback. Fuck, I thought I got away from these when I finished Black Ops. We put on the helmet and say fuck you to Halo 4, because all the unnecessary extra details of the helmet disappear so we have a nice clean HUD. Turns out we're in Mexico, and the base is being invaded by demons because that's a totally normal warning message to have programmed onto your database. And Microsoft Sam lets us know that we can work together to solve his problems, so we tell him to fuck off and disrespect him dead. <laughs> the kind of things that amuse Will, it does never cease to amaze. <laughs> We can tell that Hell's been leaking out because there's some reading, so we high-five some locals poorly and borrow a shotgun because it's not like he's gonna be using it. We go through a door and ask for directions, but everyone's a dick in this game, so we remove their head to find out how far it'll go up their own ass. We pop a gore nest and kill an arbitrary amount of enemies until we decide that it's more efficient to kill demons by deep-throating a shotgun. I meet back up with Cortana, who says that we're not allowed to leave, but jokes on her we're the motherfucking Doom guy and can do whatever we want, so we take an elevator. Microsoft Sam lets us know that we can blame him for the events of the past 24 hours, so we ask him politely to shut the fuck up and listen to the title drop. We scoot our hole across the surface of Mars and high-five some more locals until we get a little lost trying to find a door key. We meet up with Jack from Gears of War and tell him to go back to his own franchise, before getting blown up because I thought it was a good idea to jump into a pile of explosive barrels. Jeff Bezos lets us know that the facility is totally accident-free, but we're not buying it, so we press a button to go back inside. Sony Vegas jump scares us- I am Vegas. Ah! That is so much louder than everything doors. else! And I pry a door open because unlike Blackburn from Battlefield 3, Doom Guy knows how to open a door, even if it doesn't want to open for him. We turn the facility off and on again and run away from Evil or Tilda Swinton monologuing at us, and press a button that does... something. After picking up a chainsaw... That's a good question. Chainsaw is a good question, that's right. Chainsaw is the question, and chainsaw is the answer. I immediately waste all of the ammo on fodder demons because I'm stupid, so we pry open another door and pop a gore nest so we can fight another arbitrary amount of enemies. We call an elevator, we call an elevator, we call an elevator, and perform the ritual dance to the second floor, where we find a yellow keycard and the game tries to jump scare us, but literally no one was surprised, game. We pry open another door and get pancaked, and pick up a heavy assault rifle that looks like it could maybe use a once-over with a moist wipe. After going outside, we insult Christianity. You have a moment to talk about our Lord and Savior, me! <laughs> Me, I'm Jesus Christ. I'm the Doom Slayer. I'm better than Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> better than Jesus. Oops, that's not what I wanted to do. I'm the guy Jesus called when he's afraid. <laughs> In this episode, the gang commits sacrilege. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's be honest, Christians aren't watching this anyways. And call an elevator. 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 I wonder why Doom even has a crouch button. We borrow an employee's ID, but Microsoft Sam is being a bitch and locks us out until we meet up with him for a dinner date. So we head back down the elevator to give him a piece of our mind. Microsoft Sam gives us a gift, and we take a break from stopping the demonic invasion to listen to Microsoft Sam tell us about how we should be stopping the demonic invasion for two whole minutes. We do more waiting until we're let out into a lava facility, where we pop a gore nest and then get lost because this game is asking a colorblind guy to look for a yellow keycard in a yellow facility that's tinted yellow. We pop another gore nest and continue being lost for ten more minutes until we activate the Terminator 2 easter egg because I'm bad at platforming. After finally getting the yellow keycard, we answer the question and pop another gore nest and immediately die. Ow. Wow. wow. Oh, Jesus. Holy oh, crap. Man. So we pop the gore nest again and fight an arbitrary amount of enemies before getting the blue key card. Hey, that's a color I can actually identify. And we pop another gore nest to fight another arbitrary amount of enemies. We open some blinds and watch Evil or Tilda Swinton do a mime show because I'm pretty sure there's supposed to be some visuals here, but they're just... 
not. How do I break every game I touch? I didn't even do anything here. Doom Guy waits patiently for Evil or Tilda Swinton to Grandma walk away before we're finally given control of our legs again and we press a button to follow after her. We pick up a water gun and a rocket launcher that we can fire because... I guess there's no backblast in the future. Or maybe Doom Guy just really enjoys eating backblast. We pop another gore nest and almost murder ourselves through an arbitrary amount of enemies and come across the first tube of toothpaste that Microsoft Sam tells us to squeeze carefully, so we squeeze it like a teenage boy finding out about masturbation for the first time. Microsoft Sam tells us that doing that was completely unnecessary, but what's he gonna do? We're the motherfucking Doom Guy. We pop our way through more gore nests and I try my hand at ice skating. Get it? We cause more property damage just to piss Microsoft Sam off, but we continue to do so specifically to piss him off because we know he can't do jack shit about it. After popping another gore nest and almost shooting myself to death, we complete the rule of three that every game is required to have by punching the last of the toothpaste into dust. I almost blow myself up again and try in some boots that let us say fuck you to the laws of physics because jumping twice is always better than jumping once. We almost catch up to Evil or Tilda Swinton, but her granny shuffle is too fast for us and she takes an elevator away. We break into another door and then a hatch and then another door that dumps us out into a room where we confront a Discord moderator and then and are forced through really, really slow platforming. What do you think Doom Guy's favorite photo would be? Um, Dr. Pepper. Why? Uh, because it's Dr. Pepper. I think it'd be awesome if, if some company came out with a soda called the blood of your enemies. So you can just say you're drinking the blood of your enemies. <laughs> Evil or Tilda Swinton tells us that this isn't the end, it's only the beginning, but I'm pretty sure we're like halfway through the game right now. After fighting off Evil or Tilda Swinton's horde of angry cats for an arbitrary amount of time, we enter the nether, and a mysterious omniscient voice says, he is here, but we already knew that, because we are he and he are here. Uh, we fondle a skull and enter a cave that may or may not be a natural formation, where we collect the pew pew gun that we're going to be using a lot in this game. We fondle another skull and collect the color coded skull, because for some reason Hell uses the same key code system as the UAC. Or maybe it's the other way around. After fondling another skull and collecting a second color-coded skull, I commit suicide because I'm an idiot. Oh shit. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> I lose part of my soul after dying to a meatball twice in a row, and use a color-coded skull to break into the next area. I make my way through super basic platforming with absolutely no problems whatsoever. Oh, hey, kamikaze. Oh, fuck. Um... <laughs> One of the skulls hit me! <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Oh, what? <laughs> Apparently I was in the air. It, it, that counted as my double jump. And fondle another skull to the super shoddy, which is like the regular shoddy except super. Hell gets redder than it already was, which is absolutely perfect for my color blindness. And we find our bedroom where we used to sleep until we were stolen by Quentin Tarantino at the beginning. We teleport back to Mexico and Microsoft Sam says we can't go back to the nether now because the portal is borked. And we pick up a turret very gingerly instead of ripping the fucking thing from its tripod like they do in Halo 3. Microsoft Sam lets us know that Olivia has a personal keepsake in her office with our name written on it. Pinky. We open a door and get interrupted by Pinky, who is doing the same thing he does every night, so we stab him in the butt. We pop another gore nest and die, and then pop another gore nest and borrow a yellow keycard, which we use to jump down an elevator shaft to a door that we force open and take to a tram that leads to a five minute sequence where we're introduced to the Black Mesa facility and... Uh, no, wait, wrong script. We pop a gore nest and gently caress some demons before wandering into Microsoft Sam's office, where he ties us up against our will because he didn't think we'd be into it willingly. And then our unending crusade against the forces of hell comes to a screeching halt because of the only thing that can stop us. A three minute long exposition dump. We praise the helix fossil and run away as fast as we can from the room so he doesn't talk to us slowly some more, and take an elevator down to a gore nest that we pop because this game really wants you to activate every single combat encounter manually. We attempt to open a door with a retinal scan, but we're wearing an opaque helmet, so we head off to borrow someone else's eyeballs instead. We give Bruce Willis an eye exam and some Mission Impossible shit starts happening, so we break into a pickle jar and pick up the BFG, which stands for Subscribe to Willyasso. We force open a door and turn the occupants of the room into pickle juice and run off to pop another gore nest. We answer the question and question some hitboxes. That went right through him. And take an elevator downstairs to a lab named after a David Bowie song where we pop another gourd nest. We break through some doors and get a little lost until we break through another door and meet back up with Pinky, who is still doing the same thing he does every night. After struggling to fight Pinky, mostly because I'm blowing myself up, we have another Vietnam flashback and someone tries to say Ligma to us. Cryos and Ligma. Did he say Ligma? So we run off to our toy that we unlock, which gives us another Vietnam flashback. <laughs> My head. Turns out, in order to go back to hell, we've got to borrow a spaghetti thermos from a neighbor, so we head downstairs into the demonic cult church to ask. We open a hatch, 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 and head down to the neighbor's house to ring the doorbell. Turns out the neighbor is a 12 foot tall, 2,000 pound mass of anger, just like your mom. We beat up the neighbor and take the spaghetti thermos for ourselves, but when we teleport back to hell, they're resurrected through the power of being really angry. After beating the shit out of the neighbor on the <coughs> 
First try, we take a portal deeper into hell so we can jump down a titan's throat. We chainsaw a revenant into a brick wall and learn something new. <laughs> that makes sense. Have you never chainsawed a brick wall before? <laughs> of course I have. I'm the motherfucking Doom guy. <laughs> I'm a certified brick mason. Are you going to question me? Uh, I'm pretty sure they do actually shape brick with chainsaws. <laughs> Are we accidentally correct? Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm like 50% sure that's a thing. I'm going to look up brick chainsaw. Oh, it's oh, called a concrete you. chainsaw. Yeah. Okay, so it is a thing. But it's like a specific chainsaw. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Today we learned. Like it's, it's a lot bigger. <laughs> While playing Doom, we learned something. It kind of makes me feel like an idiot, but at the same time, I do not feel like I should feel like an idiot for not knowing they chainsaw bricks. <laughs> yeah, that's not necessarily. Yeah, because it's like where did you knowledge. picked up that information? It's kind of random information. <laughs> After escaping Indiana Jones and the Temple of Even Games, journalists couldn't die to this. Whoa, so challenging, so scary, <laughs> very tense. <laughs> this is comedically slow. What the? F oh man, you almost died. Holy oh, shit. Blessed, we fight Pinky again because he still hasn't given up on doing the same thing he does every night. We take a portal to Destiny 2's PvP arena and fight an average Destiny player. I try to answer the question, but we're a little confused about the answer. We press a button and I swear to god, I know these sequences don't bother anyone else, but it really, really hurts my eyes. We watch a Krata transform into a Rakshi, and I know some of my references are a little out there sometimes, but if you got this one, you're probably still single. We beat it easily, but surprise, there's a second phase to the boss fight which I foolishly thought wouldn't be that bad. I mean, I'm sure it'll be hard, but it won't. Be, it shouldn't be that bad. Fuck! 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 Oh no! Yeah. Wow. Okay. That first burst of fire just fucking killed me. Yikes! Oh, Damn. After beating the rock sheep, give me your penis. We get the Crucible, a weapon so powerful that it can chop nearly any demon into pieces. We're gonna use it to stab three cheese balls, and then do literally nothing else with it in this game. Sony Vegas tells us that they decided to use his power source to send us to the Source Engine, and considering that Sony Vegas and Microsoft Sam are the only people sane enough to make that decision, that probably means that Sony Vegas also wants to kill himself after listening to Microsoft Sam talk for so long. We take a door to a hatch and start shutting stuff down, so we take another hatch to a room where Sony Vegas tells us to break four things, just to spice up that rule of three. After taking a slanted elevator, we rip out the personality cores and toss them into the emergency intelligence incinerator. Oh wait, that's not the right script. We save a several Yottabyte super AI onto a flash drive from Walmart, because apparently that massive chassis being powered by Hell Energy was just compensating for something, and we teleport back downstairs. After winning a rolling competition and failing at platforming- Oh fuck. Wow. Oh wow. <laughs> cool. Wow. What the fuck? That was smart. We head off to the previously mentioned cheese balls and give them a good suck. We drop down a hole and catch up to evil or Tilda Swinton, who reveals that she was actually the brain the whole time, and that she was the one doing the same thing they do every night, Pinky, trying to take over the world. After beating the brain on the <coughs> It's your shot. Uh, we're gonna try that again. First try, we blow their mind with a subscribe to Willy Also and get BDSM'd back to Microsoft Sam, who lets us know that we won, but we argue with him about the cost. You think the only way is to kill them all? Yes. Nothing behind. Correct. Then you may be right. I am right. But we can't just shut it all down. Yes, we can. Without Argent Energy, it will be worse. No, it won't. I don't expect you to agree. Correct, I don't agree. No, give it back. <laughs> Boys. I need that. In this story. Yes, you are. Yeah, you are. <laughs> do, because there is no, choice. no, there is a yeah, choice. Is. The choice is ribbon tear. <laughs> Game over. Special thanks to my patrons for supporting the channel. If you want to support the channel as well, you'll get your own custom avatar that'll go at the end of the videos you helped support that month.